seeing your mother. And that's what happened to me. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Once thought to be extinct, a group of youth had the opportunity to learn about healthy foods and how to grow their own food. <clears throat> but what makes their experience different from others is that they may have revived a bit of history in the process. With more, here's Matt Thorderson. <laughs> Students in Winnipeg were given a rather unique opportunity to revive a vegetable that was thought to be extinct. This particular squash was grown from seeds that are approximately 800 years old. There was an archaeological dig on First Nations land in Wisconsin and they found a clay vessel. It was about the size of a tennis ball. And in that clay vessel they found seeds. Until the dig seven years ago, this type of squash was thought to be extinct. Since then, efforts have been made to get it thriving again. There's been initiative of individuals and organizations trying to bring back this seed and this spirit to the Aboriginal community. Students are learning about healthy food choices and at the same time are doing their part to bring back this vegetable. What we're going to be doing with this squash is to be um, saving these seeds and then planting them so that we could have more of these seeds to try to make certain that this squash never becomes extinct. They chose to celebrate the end of the semester with a feast. This squash is representative of a tribe of a tribe of a large community and everybody in that community having a place and food being a right of citizenship. The seeds were given to the group by the Canadian Mennonite University. Those in attendance were educated about the squash, which they hope will keep this piece of history alive. Matt Thorderson, APTN National News, Winnipeg. A Michigan man who tried to kill a spider with